Hi viewers, in this video we are going to talk about the Fourier sine transform and how to find the Fourier sine transform to the function f of x where f of x is e power negative ax by x x is variable, a is constant basically you need to know the formula for Fourier sine transform of the function f of x and it is given by f of s root over 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity f of x sin sx dx now the function f of x is replaced with e power negative ax by x one can clearly observe the integrand it is in the form of p by q e power negative ax by x into sin sx here the antiderivative to the integrand that is a integration to this function does not exist. Therefore, you need to find Fourier sine transform to the function that is f of s which is obtained from a first order ordinary differential equation with uh, some initial condition. It is to be set by the learner only. For this, let it be equation number 1 differentiating both sides with respect to s one can get it is a function of the parameter s it is a one integral and the reference variable x but integrand consists one trigonometric function in terms of the parameter s the differentiation to the right hand side thing is only obtained under Leibniz theorem d by ds of f of s that is only left hand side expression root over 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity e power negative ax by x sin sx only the function in terms of s its derivative cosine sx sx inner function whose derivative with respect to s x simplify the integrand you have x x cancelled out a power negative ax cosine sx is obtained now simplify this integral root over 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity e power negative ax cosine sx dx to evaluate this integral by using standard reduction formula that is integral e power ax cosine bx dx we know the formula for this e power ax by a square plus b square a cosine bx plus b sine bx here a is negative a b is s according to the formula e power negative ax by negative a square plus b s square into a negative a cosine bx that is cosine sx plus b sine bx that is s sine sx consider the limits between 0 and infinity for the variable x the left hand side expression is d by ds of f of s that is root over 2 by pi when x replace with infinity e power negative infinity is 0 0 into finite quantity is 0 negative when x replace with 0 it is e power 0 1 by a square plus s square x replace with uh, 0 that is negative a x replace with 0 th this is uh, sin 0 into s 0 itself the resultant expression in terms of s is root over 2 by pi a by s square plus a square it is a first order differential equation integrate this equation number 2 with respect to s we get the derivative to the function and you can apply integration to this one we get f of s that is uh, root over 2 by pi integral a by s square plus a square ds now that is root over 2 by pi a constant 1 by s square plus a square whose integration with respect to s 1 by a tan inverse s by a a, a cancel we have tan inverse of s by a 1 integral constant added on right hand side 
it is only f of s it is a first order differential equation and uh, you need to set one initial condition that is the point of continuity for s is equal to 0 first we are given that the Fourier sign transform to the function f of x that is f of s root over 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity this integrand from these two conditions we can set initial condition s and s is equal to 0 this is f of 0 when s 0 the integrand is 0 on left hand side you have 0 when s replace with 0 it is f of 0 tan inverse of 0 by a that is the tan inverse 0 tan inverse 0 value 0 plus c 0 equal to 0 plus c that is c is equal to 0 so you need to find only one arbitrary constant that is presented in this f of s therefore after substitution you get f of s root over 2 by pi tan inverse s by a which is the required Fourier sign transform to the function that function is in the form of v by q that is only e power negative ax by x